And so we've got Anthony Ryder from South Lyon, Michigan, recently selected as the Lions 2020 Fan of the Year. He has a passion about sports broadcasting. With the 112th selection in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Amon Ross St. Brown, wide receiver, USC. One cry, baby! What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Lions video. Today we are going to talk about the Lions defense and of course as we all know it is not very good right now. The Lions have had two games this season of their four allowing more than 35 points and they've had two games. The two games they didn't allow over 30 they allowed 27 against Minnesota and 28 or they allowed 27 versus Washington and 28 versus Minnesota. Their defense is statistically the worst in the NFL in a majority of categories despite their offense being on a historic pace. And today we're going to take a look at this defense. We're going to take a look at what's not working, why the Lions aren't having a very good time on the defensive side of the ball, and what the Lions can do to fix this defense to even be somewhere close to below average so the Lions can start winning some football games in the NFL. So with that being said, and without any further ado, let's get into taking a look at the Lions defense, where they're struggling, and how they can fix this team for the rest of the 2022 season. Now, starting off with some substitutions, I do think the Lions need to start playing some different players because the guys on the field simply aren't getting the job done. Right? And when I say I think these players should stop being starters, it doesn't mean I think they should stop having an impact on the team, but there are players that I think in depth positions are outplaying a large majority of our starters up to this point. And these are the players I think should be starting in week five for the Detroit Lions. First off, I think Ifiatu Malafanwu absolutely has to start. I think that whether it's at cornerback replacing Amani or Warrior, or at safety replacing Kirby Joseph, I think 26 has to be on the field. In seven games last year, he had multiple passes defended, multiple fumble, multiple fumble recoveries, and was in a good spot to have multiple pass breakups and big time plays through the year. He is long, he is rangy, he is fast, he is a super athletic cornerback that makes plays in the air, and the Lions need a defensive playmaker right now. And again, whether that be across from Jeff Okuda as the cornerback, whether that be at safety over the top, taking away Kirby Joseph's role a little bit, I think 26 has to see the field. He was too good last year not to be playing at this point, and the rest of the defense is playing too poorly for him not to get a shot at some point here coming up very soon. Now, another substitution I would like to see the Detroit Lions make is Derek Barnes for Alex Anzalone. I think the Lions have three linebackers that are playing at a legit average NFL linebacker right now. Those three linebackers are Malcolm Rodriguez, who I think is playing slightly above average, Derek Barnes, who again, I think in limited time is playing pretty average to maybe a little bit above average for the time he is seeing, and Chris Board, who has been a surprise depth piece on the Lions defense. Alex Anzalone is not getting the job done. He is missing tackles. He is blowing assignments. He is a captain and is a great leader on the defense, but he can lead from the sideline. I think the Lions have to kind of grit their teeth with this one. They have to pull 34 off the field, and they have to give some of these young linebackers a chance, right? Chris Board's been playing very well in sub packages. Derek Barnes has played great in the limited time he has seen in Detroit. Malcolm Rodriguez is a star of the preseason and is one of the better defensive players the Detroit Lions have. Linebacker has to get better. I think linebacker is one of the biggest faults on this team right now. And Alex Anzalone is probably the fourth best linebacker on the roster, but he's playing like the number one. I think either Chris Board or Derek Barnes needs to play in that role next to Malcolm Rodriguez in order for the Lions to start finding some success. Now, I don't think that it is all starters versus backups, but some other players and just in general players that I think need to get more playing time. Chris Board needs to get more playing time. Derek Barnes needs to get more playing time. If Yatu Melifanu needs to play, and then the edge rushers of Julian Okwara and Austin Bryant have gotten very, very minimal looks this season as Aiden Hutchinson as Charles Harris have primarily been the two edge rushers. Those are guys that had four and a half and five sacks respectively a season ago. They can be an ad 
asset on your defense, but I don't think the Lions coaching staff and the defensive coordinator in particular are utilizing those players properly, right? You look at all these players in very very insignificant roles, right? Guys that are playing just a few snaps a game, but they're having top tier production. Chris Board is graded and is statistically one of the best blitzing linebackers this year, but he's not playing very much, right? Ifiatu Melifano was great last year. Like I mentioned earlier, he isn't playing at all. He hasn't seen a snap on the defense yet. You know, Derek Barnes is playing very well when he's in hasn't seen the field. Julian O'Quara and Austin Bryant have barely touched the field as edge rushers, and when they have, they've gotten a little bit of pressure. I just think that these players need to see a little bit more time, especially considering that I think the pass rush is the biggest hole on this team as of right now. The pass rush needs to get better. The Lions have five sacks from defensive linemen this season through four games. Three of them came from Aiden Hutchinson versus Washington. One of them came from Charles Harris versus Washington. And one of them came from John Kaminsky, who as of right now is not playing with his thumb surgery, but it also came against Washington. The Lions have had one productive day of pass rush and they looked very good. Their secondary looked better. Their linebackers looked better. They shut out Washington in the first half and they won the football game. The pass rush is the main issue here in Detroit and it needs to get better if the Lions want to start winning. Now, with that being said, a lot of the Lions pressures this season have come from blitzing linebackers and blitzing safeties. If I'm Aaron Glenn, I'm challenging the defense this week to get that pressure with four to five guys. The Lions should not rush more than six players at a time the rest of the season because these blitzes are not working. In theory, what should be a big play for the defense and a high risk, high reward play for the defense is turning into a huge play for the offense 90% of the time because our cornerbacks are not fit to cover that type of coverage. And Amani especially is seeming to struggle in that particular system. Now, I think that the pass rush needs to get better. And I'm not going to blame Hutchinson, and I'm not necessarily going to blame Charles Harris, because I do think they're getting pressure, and I do think they're starting to get a little bit going. I will blame the interior of the defensive line, because I do not think they are being good enough. And to their credit and to their defense, they are playing very, very bare-boned right now at the defensive line position, right? Levi Anwuzariki is out for a long time and maybe even the rest of the season. Josh Pascal, their second-round pick, has not seen the field yet. John Kaminsky, a guy they kicked inside multiple times, is no longer playing. And Demetrius Taylor has been a healthy scratch every single game as of this far. They don't have a great pass rusher on the defensive line to this point on the interior, other than Michael Brockers, who is probably our best one, but again, he's 31 and he's not the player that he used to be. The Lions need to find a way to generate pressure on the interior of the line without blitzing two to three linebackers on every single play. Whether that be Ole McNeil stepping up, whether that be Josh Pascal coming back this week and making a big impact, whether it be bringing up Demetrius Taylor to get a little bit of that interior pass rush, the Lions need to do it because I promise if the pass rush starts to get there, if Aiden Hutchinson starts to get home, if the interior of the defensive line in particular starts to pull their weight on this defense, it will look night and day to how good this defense is going to look compared to how they look right now. Now, I'm not going to say that it is all on the defensive line because the secondary does need to play better. As I said, when you send that kind of pressure, when you send two, three linebackers and a safety every single play, when you send seven and leave three to four in coverage, those guys have to be able to hold up. And as of right now, the only guy doing so is Jeff Okuda. Amani Oruwarie has not played his best game. Mike Hughes has not been playing his best football as of right now. And as of going into week five, Mike Hughes is allowing a quarterback rating of 134.2 when targeted. And Will Harris is giving up a quarterback rating of 106.9. I'm not aware of what Kirby Josephs is because I don't think he had enough targets to qualify for the statistic, or at least the ones I was looking at didn't have a number for him, but I'm assuming his is not very good either. Now, Amani is averaging about a 74 and a half QBR when targeted, and Jeff Okuda is just under a 73, if I remember correctly. So the boundary corners are not doing a horrible job when they are getting a little bit of help and when they are actually playing in a defense that doesn't leave wide open people in the middle of the field. 
but the cornerback play in general has to get better. Whether that be Chase Lucas coming in a little bit, whether that be, again, Ifiatu Melifanwu coming in a little bit at this point, I think that there are players on this team that can help the defense get better. And then, of course, you have the missed tackles, right? 18 missed tackles in four games, three of them coming from your captain and Alex Anzalone actually leads the team in missed tackles for the second year in a row. Things need to change in Detroit. I think that some players that are playing well as backups need to get an opportunity to start. I think that some players that showed potential last year need to get more playing time this year on the field, particularly Ifiatu Malafanu has to play. Demetrius Taylor, I think, should get an opportunity to rush the passer from the interior of that defensive line. And I do think that Derek Barnes and I think that Chris Board and the Okwara and Jolene Okwara and Austin Bryant need to get more playing time because Aiden Hutchinson cannot do this by himself. Jeff Okuda cannot do this by himself. Malcolm Rodriguez cannot do it by himself. And until the Lions can get healthy, until they can get Kaminsky and Pascal and Levi and Romeo back on the defensive line, they're going to be thin for a little while. They're going to have to kind of dig deep at that defensive line position for a little while. But I think that they can do it. They just need the right personnel and they need to be able to generate that pressure up front early and often. But with that being said, I do think there is hope on the horizon, right? Josh Pascal is eligible to return this week, and if he doesn't return this week, I think there is a lot of optimism that he could potentially return after the bye week as the Lions travel to Dallas. Same thing goes with Romeo Aquara. I don't know if he's going to come back right after the bye, but we are in that territory where any given week we should be getting news on Romeo Aquara, and he himself said in interviews that he expects and is optimistic that he will play a large part of this season. And at this point, I think we should expect Romeo back at any point. Levi, I'm not entirely sure what his deal is. He hasn't been placed on injured reserve, but he also hasn't been announced to be coming back anytime soon. So that's a little bit confusing. John Kaminsky has yet to be put on IR, meaning he could potentially return at any week. He's been out too. They placed him on IR. They could have been out for four and that would have opened up a roster spot. They clearly believe that he is potentially going to come back any day now. And I do think that that will help the pass rush as well. But the Lions need to find a way to survive until these players come back, whether it be Demetrius Taylor, whether it be, you know, finding somebody in free agency, whether it be whatever method you have to do to gain that pass rush. That's the missing key for the Lions right now is that interior pass rush and that interior dominant force. I think Pascal could potentially do that. I think John Kaminsky helped with that. I think Demetrius Taylor can do that. And in doing those things, I think the rest of the defense will look much better. But with all that being said, that's all I got for you guys today. Let me know down in the comments below. What do you think about this defense? What do you think their biggest problem is? And how do you think the Lions fix the worst ranked defense in the NFL so that the offense can get just a little bit of help going forward? I'd be very curious what you guys think. But with all that being said, that's all I got for you guys right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, and as always, go Lions. Thank <laughs> you.